What is going on everyone? Before we get into today's video, I want to give a big shout out to A1 Comics for A1 Wednesday. Don't forget to follow them on Instagram. Their link is in the description below. They have live sales every Wednesday and Friday on the IG. Don't forget to check them out on Twitch every Thursday as well. And of course, they are on the WhatNot app. YouTube, what is going on everyone? Chris with Journals, Comics of Pop Culture. Today, I'm going to show you all how I package comic books in larger lots that have to go in larger boxes. You may have checked out my video that I just recently did showing off how I package smaller amounts of books, probably anywhere from individual books to six books, how I use envelopes and how I protect the comics there. But for this video, like I said, we're looking at large lots of comics. We have 23 comics right here that I just recently sold to one customer. Big shout out to them for the support uh, on my most recent What Not Live sale. We are going to start putting these together, folks. But before we get into it, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please take the time to do so. Check out all the awesome links below as well, folks. You can check out the link to our comic book canon YouTube channel. If you aren't checking us out over there, we are live every week with an awesome, awesome live show with multiple special guests every week. And also, if you guys are interested in becoming a member of the channel for only $1.99 a month, you can click that join button below and get extra perks. But most importantly, it does help out supporting this channel. I produce content almost seven days a week, but let's just get into this, folks. So, we have comic books. How do I start organizing them? First, I don't just grab up the 23 books, put them in the box with some bubble wrap or anything like that. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to separate them into three lots. Now, they did uh, win this awesome little art print uh, here, this Peacemaker art print with Eagly. But let's just separate. There's 23 books. We're going to do lots of eight, eight, and seven. That's as even as it can get, right? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Let's take these. I like to put the more valuable books in the middle just because I'm, uh, I don't know, OCD. <laughs> so we have seven here. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing with these. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll, we'll throw this in here like that, and seven. And again, I, I pancake them. I take about half or half or four and three, and I do that. It helps protect against the spine roll, and it doesn't expose any of the comics to the outer you, you know, uh, area. You have the boards on the outer area right there. Okay, and, and lastly, oh, we were going to do eight, right? So let's add one more to this. There we go. Seven here, eight here, and we should have eight comic books left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So uh, we're going to take these, flip them, and pancake them like that. Now we have three separate lots of books. Similar to what I do if I'm just selling two to three to four books where I flip them and and, and I do the same thing. I take the painter's tape and I want to make sure that each of these three lots are taped with the painter's tape on all sides. Actually, for these, I only do three. I don't painter's tape the, the top. And I'll show you. Make sure it's enough. That I might have did a little, a little short there. Let's see. No, nope, that's enough. That's just enough to wrap around like that. Uh, again, I always use painter's tape on the comics. I never use packaging tape, not even scotch tape. Anything other than painter's tape has a chance of sticking really well and it can ruin bags and boards, you know, th that the comics are in. And if the customer gets them and they're trying to, you know, break the tape off, it, it could be stuck so well that they can pull out it in a way that can damage the comic books. And you do not want that happening. So painter's tape all the way. It's very easy to remove. So there, there we are. Uh, we got one, two, three. Here's the tops of the bags. 
this is uh, solid enough for what I'm doing and all. Of course, show you why in a moment. We're gonna set this one aside and we're gonna do the same thing to these other two lots. All right, so we have all three lots of the books secured with painter's tape. So, you might assume that now that I got them secured like this, I'm just gonna open this box up and you know, throw some bubble wrap in it, throw the books in there and call it a day. No, I'm gonna add even more protection, folks. And it starts with this uh, USPS priority mailing envelope. All right, these are, if not waterproof, they are water resistant. Uh, they are the Tyvek envelopes. So, and again, don't, don't quote me. I don't know if they're full on waterproof, but they definitely protect against water. We're gonna take each lot and you could slide it in here. It's gonna be a little bit of a tight fit, but it fits perfectly. Look at that, we're gonna slide that in there. It fits all the way to the end and then we fold it over like that. And then we get the flap out. It's in there, there it is. We can take the sticker off the flap and we tape that closed. So there you go, one lot. We are going to do the same for these next two. We grab another one. I think that was a seven book one. These are the eight book ones. Might be a little bit of a tighter fit, but it's gonna fit. Uh, I think the most I've done in these is nine book lots to fit in these bags. Then we flip this around. There we go. Take the little adhesive off the sticker. Stick it closed. There we go. Now we got two. And we will do the same to the last one here. Again, adds a little extra protection. Adds that water, you know, protection against water and moisture. Oh, let's see, this one's a little oh, tight. It's gonna get in there. There we go. Oh, this one is being a little difficult, but there we are. Let's pull this off. Stick it closed. All right, now we have our three separate envelopes of comic books. Now we are going to get into the box, folks. So I got th this is a uh, big, big bubble bubble wrap. So we got some of that here. Okay, we got small pieces and bigger pieces. I'm gonna show you why both are essential. And we got you know your standard, standard size bubble wrap here. We might use a little bit of both, we shall see. So what I like about the big bubble wrap, but again, folks, this is just personal preference at this point. You guys can use regular bubble wrap, this kind of bubble wrap. I mean, you can even you know get your USPS supplies and use a bubble envelope. But I'm gonna use a piece of any type of thing that has bubbles, right? and line the bottom of the box. So you can, like I said, you can use that. You know, you can get these for free at your local post office or order them on USPS.com. But what I'm gonna do, because I do believe it's cut perfect, I'm gonna use this big bubble bubble wrap for the bottom. See, yep, and it's a perfect lining. Oh, there's Madison making a quick cameo appearance there on the channel. If you guys saw him, Scoot across the table there. He knows not to be on the table. See that? Perfectly set in there. So once that's in, we could throw our comic books in. One, two, and three. Okay, now, here's the thing. If we leave it like this, they wiggle from side to side, and you got a lot of space on top. Knowing the USPS, I don't want to shame them. You know, I, I just... It, Hey, I don't trust anybody handling my books. I've seen some horror stories. If we leave them like this, there's a possibility that the whoever's carrying them from place to place could be just tossing them, tossing the box around and throwing them all over the place, right? So what do we need to do? We need to line the sides first. So again, these you can get and use is just bubble wrap and you can try fold them like this and look at this. They fit is a perfect side liner. Look at that, boom. 
right? So we're gonna take another one. We're gonna try, bring that down. We're gonna tri-fold it as such. And we're gonna line the other side just like that. So there you go. Now, look look at that. Now it's not going anywhere left or right. It's still kind of slipping to the bottom. And of, course, and of course, we have all this extra space up top. Let me center them back in the middle there. We do have this gap. I can put my fingers in a gap on each side of the book. So what am I going to do? Now, I'm going to take some standard size bubble wrap here. I need to cut a piece off. We're gonna have a little piece that goes in here and down at the bottom. So I'm gonna grab my trusty scissors. This is already kind of ripped and cut. So I'm just gonna cut around here. Scissors, scissors are getting a bit dull, but they're still working. So now that we have something like this, I can just, it's pretty much a square, fold it a few times. And it doesn't need to be perfect, but as long as it's kind of shoved in there and pat it up, I like to make sure it's spread out. Okay. And we're going to cut one more piece for the other side. Go. And again, it doesn't have to be much. Just about maybe square foot of bubble wrap. Fold it a few times there, and I'm gonna slide that. Let's turn it around like this. See, now it's getting pretty tight, but we can still fit that in there. So it's got space. The books are spaced out from the edge of the box to give it extra protection. So this is really secured in there now. I mean, good luck moving that around. So uh, I am gonna put something on top, but before I do that, I got my packaging slit. I always write thank you, thank you note on my packaging slips. Uh, we're not going to expose personal information there. And I always throw in Cherno's comic sticker. Bam. Right there. And what I like to use on top is, again, the big bubble, bubble wrap. Because, get, get, look, and this is cut perfectly to where I can throw this in there just like that. And see, it fits perfectly. Now, there's still a little extra room. So just for precautionary reasons, I'm gonna put a little extra protection on top here. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some packaging tape, just a little piece. I'm gonna fold this and tape this just so it's a double bubbled, <laughs> double layered bubble sitting right on top there. There we go. All right. You always want to double check and make sure you have everything secured and you didn't leave anything out of your package. You should be doing that as you're proceeding step by step. But right now, before you tape it up, it's final. We're going to close this up. And again, folks, huge tip. Recycle. Recycle. If you order comic books or anything online or in the mail that comes in boxes or envelopes, Gemini mailers, recycle, use them. Anything that you get bubble wrap in, it will save you money and it's good for the earth because we're not just using it once and throwing it away, right? So uh, sometimes I use the clear packaging tape on boxes. I usually have the brown packaging tape. It is a little more uh, durable, but I ran out, so I am using clear. Now, what I like to do as well, I like to get all sides of the box because again, it's just, it's extra protection, not only from it possibly opening, but from it being exposed to uh, outside foreign substances, such as possible moisture, right? Moisture, dust, anything like that. So once we have that, and again, I'm not gonna do this on camera to give away somebody's personal information. We throw the uh, shipping label on, Use packaging tape to patch it on there. Voila, there you have it. A large lot of comics ready to be shipped, sent out to the post office. Hopefully another happy customer. I absolutely enjoy taking the time to make sure everybody's comics are packaged extremely safe. It's a lot of hard work and it is absolutely time consuming. I spent almost eight hours packaging just 26 packages. 
from my last whatnot sale. But guys, I wouldn't do it any other way. Your books are precious to you. I know as a collector, I want my books to uh, arrive in the condition that I purchased them in. So hope you all learned a little something here today. Let me know your thoughts on the packaging job that I did today in the comments below. And again, if you aren't subscribed, please, folks, please take some time to do so. I appreciate you all. And again, I am here almost seven days a week making all kind of combo book content for all of you. Thank you all so much for watching. Be well. And until next time.